know that I wanna be good for you. You know that I wanna be good for you. So guys, this is Eliana here. It's washed and blow dried. I've divided it into two parts, as you can see. And I want to braid it. I'll be braiding it using this braid. It's Ultra Braid. I got it from the after shop here in Germany. And I've done it before and one braid is enough. I'll be using this Shine and Jam. I'll be using bladders of which I'll take them out. Later, you'll see. I'm going to use this one toothbrush together with shine and jam and I'm going to be having some clips so guys just wait and see what we are going to create so guys as you can see she has very thick hair and I don't blow dry it too much like thin kabisa I just blow dry it to dry it out and then I'm going to start by patting it so that I can start braiding and it's so hard for her to keep her head still especially when the sister is around the tv is on she's eating it's too much but we are going to work with it anyways yeah for a child you don't have to get that like perfect patting like quickly no 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 you don't have to do it but we are going to try as much as possible to have a clean one I'm going to put the rest of her hair into a ponytail and then I'm going to use my shine and jam to make this parting more clear which is totally unnecessary if you're working with a child's hair it doesn't have to be perfect depending on your child if she or if she is still or not anyways I'm going to try and do that because you want to create clean braids I'm going to come through the hair once again because we want to we don't want to like braid tangled hair we want to make sure that it's properly detangled you say take me on a treasure hunt Alone. next I'm going to part this part into three parts okay we are not going for like the smallest braids we are going for a medium sized braids and that's why i'm going to part these here into three and you have to check that it balances yeah it's not supposed to be that two are big and one is very small so that's why i'm checking here if i have like a balanced three parts something new have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance going to use a clip so that I, i'll be able to see what i'm working with and then shine and jam and try to make this part more equally as kabsa but it's like i told you before it's not necessary especially if you're braiding a child i'm going to use my shine and jam and this is going to help me when i'm taking off the rubber bands it's going to help me not to destroy the hair this one thing i love about the shining jam it's so good that it even if you use rubber bands it does not uh, like cut off your hair or destroy your hair so i'm going to smoothen it with a brush and then i go ahead and put on the rubber bands i'm just going to t uh, like go two times and just leave it because we are going to take these rubber bands out after this so I'm going to repeat the same process into the next two braids. Part them, try to make it more clear with shine and jam, and then put a band, and then put the rubber band. You say take me on a treasure hunt. When they sing and dance Oh, I wish it was me Every night When I close my eyes I see Yeah.
so now i'm going to get another session to work with and as you can see she has very thick hair which looks very very yeah machicano but it's very very soft by the way and this is what we have so far after putting bladders and all this is what we have and this is what we are going to be working with i don't know what is it about this shine and jam but it makes the hair so soft i, I think you can see the difference between where we are at and before so now i'm going to create a session like the first session we started with those three braids and then i'm going to put everything into a ponytail i'm going to take clips take these two away so that i can have only one braid to work with as you can see i'm going to take off the bladder or the rubber band and it's so easy and it does not come out with hair as you might expect and now i'm going to start braiding as you can see i'm taking one braid and then i'm twisting it one time and then I'm going to work with two strands of braids and one hair. I don't know if I showed that clearly, but we are going to repeat in a few. And then you're going to braid the hair all up. And mind you, you're braiding a child. So when you're twisting the braid down there, make sure you're not tightening it. Like, be soft. Be soft. Don't hear. Usika. They had him toto lala. Anyways, braid at everything up and don't pull her hair. Her hair. Later it comes later, dear. For many of us, I promise you that. Moving on to the next part, take out the rubber band. If you need to, add some shine and jam. Take a piece of braid. Like I told you, I'm just using one strand of braid. And then I'm going to twist it around her hair only one time. I, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm just doing it one time like that. And then I'm going to use the two strands and her hair. Her hair and the two strands like i braid them separately the reason why i braid them separately is because when i'm taking out the braids i get into a point where i can just pull the braid without going down there like it's easier for me to take out the braid that way and because you uh the braids are longer than the hair when you reach to that point where the the natural hair is coming to a end you have to grab a piece of the braid you steal a small piece of capis <laughs> what am i saying anyways you i know you know what i mean and then you're going to braid it up till you done so guys, this is what I have after braiding the three braids. It might look like I'm, I've kazad, like it's too tight, but it's not. So this is how far we've gone. And we've used half of, of the braid. So I think the one braid is going to be enough. And this is the other half. So I think we are good to go. So we are almost done. I just wanted to show you the progress so far. So one more time, remove the rubber band and style and jam twist one time with your one strand of braid and then braid it all up using two strands of braids and one hair actually it's super super easy it's the easiest way to braid i learned this from my home girl mary Muehaki from Mannheim. so this it is going to be a shout out to mary yes beauty Trust you when you say that beauty is As you can see guys, someone just joined us and we are happy because this is our last strand. We are going to take the rubber band out. We are going to add style and jam. 
we are going to take the one strand of braid yeah you twist it like that just one time one time and then you take the other strand and the natural hair and you braid it all up easy peasy i think i have to show this one in another video but it's that easy and i was actually afraid that one was going to eat some of the braids from the floor but we were good we were good so now i'm going to uh twist the hair or braid the hair into three or four pieces because i want to put it in hot water so that we can have a few curls or we can make it curly just braid it up like this Now I'm going to dip the braids into hot water and at this point it's very 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 dangerous you have to be very very careful because you can burn the child so if it's your first time make sure you don't do it alone be warned yes So after putting the hair into hot water, I'm going to start braiding it out, like opening these big braids that I made so that we can have that twist or curly hair. For the so we are done. And as you can see, they are very, very, very neat. And she loves them. She loves big hair. Normally, after braiding her hair, I don't style it or touch it because I know how it feels after kushukwa. After getting the braids and then someone starts uh, like styling them, I know how it feels. So that's why I'm just going to give it a simple style. And then we are going to leave it at this point today. And maybe after two, three days, I'll be able to style it in a better style. Yes. She actually loves long hair. She was like, thank you, mama, for making me the long hair. Yes. It's gonna take some time, but I know that beauty lives in. So as our model is trying to model for us here, Hi, someone else what is here after? under the table. <laughs> Come and she mama. doesn't know what next she's Come actually to trying to stand and after standing she does not know what next <laughs> bye bye so guys thank you so much for watching bye bye say 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 bye bye Next, we are going to make one boy's hair. I hope you're going to enjoy it as well. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. See you. Bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye.